Hi there everybody. So for the purposes of this walkthrough, uh, and so that we can unlock the most endings at the end of the game, uh, or at least have the most available to us so that we can actually get through them all uh, without playing the game uh, several times, you'll be able to split your save file uh, if you're on PC like me or if you're on PS4. I don't know about Xbox, but I imagine you will be able to as well. Um, I'm going to talk about a few spoilers for the end. Now obviously this is a walkthrough, so expect spoilers anyway, uh, but this is just kind of, you know, if you do what I'm doing now, you're kind of entering into something that's going to cost you later. So let's go and talk to Yol. <coughs> oh, my God. Okay, so at the top we have Draw Out True Strength. Now what this is going to do is give us a free level. Then shall we begin? Okay, so of course... Over the next few levels, we are planning on leveling up a human anyway, so let's get that done. Beast. Now then, let's go see if we can spend... I'm just going to quickly see if we can spend these souls on something. And then we are going to go and jump off of a ledge and die. That's what we want to do. We just want to die. Oh, Cool, we'll grab that as well. So while we're doing this, let's talk to all the NPCs. We might as well get that done. Now, and if you can... Cross, cool. Let's talk to this guy. I don't know where that special... I don't know where that crazy special noise came from. But, um... You know, talk to people, it will sometimes get you goodies, which is lovely. Uh, spend all these souls, give them a blast. Passion this way. Oh, yes, Uncle. It must come, would I don't know what that does. Uh, Oops, so if we uh, can't find anything better, we're going to buy those rings. <coughs> or maybe some paramaxes. Because why not? Stop to you. Hey. Back again. Up. I don't even fight. I don't even fight. I don't even fight. Promise to stay. If you still let the flow. Cool. <laughs> Got an arm set there, we'll get that. Do not be gone, what? Q! Q, Q. Oh. Let's see if we've got any spells that we need. Oh. Yep, yeah, take that. Take that. I haven't got souls. Okay. Promise to stop. So now, the reason we're doing this is because. Uh, very shortly we are just going to repeatedly die, obviously I'm not going to make you watch me do this, uh, I'm going to do it off screen, but you just might as well spend all of your souls on something rather than have nothing. <coughs> you ever met well? Thank you. <laughs> cool, let's see if we can get some extra stuff, got any goodies before you go, so I guess the number will be fine, being as we wasted it. And um, we are going to have one of those, one of those. Uh, let's do it. Cool, Goodbye. right, so. <laughs> uh, obviously I'll show you the first death, uh, and then after that uh, we will cut to each time. In fact, no. No, I'll just show you one death, and then I am going to basically explain um, what we're going to be doing and the numbers. So the first time we need two deaths. Now a jump is better than a uh, than a roll off here because you want to try and get in the middle. It's just going to kill you. There we go. We are dead. Woo! Bye bye, Amber, and all that good stuff. So before I go and do this, at two, I believe it's two, six, and twelve deaths, um, you will get an extra draw out strength, uh, and then basically you you need to reach a hollowing of fifty, which I will show um, 
once we've drawn out strength four times. Um, and then we will have gotten our five free levels and I can explain the rest of kind of what's going to be happening over the course of kind of this quest line. Uh, if you would, uh, as I'm basically going to be labelling this Yol's quest line, um, this is actually a bit of stuff in the Firelink Shrine. Let's just find Yol here. Where are you? You're right, sorry, I'm just checking up. So yeah, it's 2, 6 and 12 deaths. So I'm going to cut to when I've given myself um, 12 hollowing and we'll explain the rest of it then. Okay, See, you, so I have died 12 times. Now, the easy way to check is this here. So once you've got, once you've had your strength drawn out, you've essentially started hollowing. And each death will add one point to this hollowing per time that you have leveled up. Now I haven't done it at all yet because I want to show it on uh, this, but obviously you can speed up the process of your deaths by um, essentially going and hollowing in between each time that you get to one of these breakpoints. So obviously you can die twice, get the one at two, die twice more, get the one at four, die twice more, get the one at twelve. And so obviously you can get the level in between each one. But I just want to make sure that I show uh, all of my levels as we are going where possible. So, um, obviously be aware that as you hollow, your character is going to look more and more disgusting. So I don't quite know if you can see it on mine yet. Uh, nope, it's not actually started taking effect yet. Uh, but we are going to go and speak to Yol again, whoever he's gone. I'm so happy that we got to talk to the Dark Moon. I really want to join the Dark Moon um, Covenant. Uh, sorry, it seems like someone's at my door. I'm just going to have to cut here. I'll be right back. Cool, sorry about that guys. You know, everybody loves pizza everybody loves pizza, so I've just had my pizza. Um let's carry it on. I can't remember where it was. Oh yeah, so we're just gonna go and talk to Yol. Uh and get our level ups. Ooh, hi. Then Hello. Shall Thank you. Now one of those. Then shall we begin? Yes, thank you, have one of those. Then shall we begin? Yes, thank you, have one of those. So, um, obviously, we're still looking pretty soon. Now, basically, we're going to have to die a few more times again. Uh, but hollowing is going to go up at a much faster rate. Obviously, four hollow points per death. Now, with it, with there being a weapon, hollowing with, uh, with there being a weapon that scales with hollowing, I'm going to have to have a look at kind of how that works because. Like that's potential for a lot of damage just for dying. Uh, but anyway, so again, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to die all the way up until um, basically I start looking disgusting. Um, I imagine it's going to be like 30 or 40 hollowing. I mean, it could even be just two more deaths, being as that's been the pattern. But uh, I will cut back to when we go and see Yol again. Okay, then, guys, give me a minute. So I've just been to Yol and checked, and it was actually only after two more deaths. So, Hollowing has hit 20. Uh, and as I said, we are looking pretty disgusting. And he is now going to give us oh, our fifth free level. Then show him. Which obviously we're going to have down here. Ah, you have attained all wills. Please. So, now, obviously at this point, we have attained maximum hollowing, and now when we leave the area and come back in, um, or, of course, we could just die, which will be quicker, which is what we're going to do, um, he will die and essentially be replaced by a new NPC that we are going to meet shortly. 
So here we have a dead yol, and here we have Yuri. Oh, pretty. I thank you. Another so new for gesture. Oh, oh, be this uh, She basically sells all the same stuff that he did, plus the dark hand uh, and some rather useful rings, particularly new in, when you're early in the game if you want to fool people. Um, <clears throat> so that has now been done. Obviously, this is a pretty decent way to gain control, uh, to gain quite a few decent things early on in the game. We got the uh, got that that cures the Halloween, which makes us look normal again, and all that good stuff. So, now what this has essentially done is um, unlocked an ending for us, called, known as the Dark Lord ending, which is why I was worried about kind of spoilers because this is like a hidden ending. Um, and some people they like exploring these things on their own. So, with that now all sorted, uh, we have got our three levels from Yol. So, the reason this unlocks the most endings is because hollowing is actually curable. Now, the way that you cure it is that you give the firekeeper soul, which we got in the tower, to our firekeeper down here, uh, and then you can pay. F um, one times the amount of souls for your next level per um, time that you have taken no, per dark sigil that you have in your inventory that's it so you have five at the moment and we can gain three more later on uh, so for a total of eight which gets us the dark lord ending which we will have uh, but essentially if you want to do what I'll be doing then you'll need to farm up eight times the amount of souls um, for your next level so for example um, if I was to do that now eight times fourteen thousand would be like a hundred thousand souls um, so you know be aware that to do this it is going to cost you a lot of souls but the reward is, you know, not having to play through the entire game three times to get the three endings. Although we will be doing that anyway, um, as I am going to try and get this walkthrough through to go all the way through New Game Plus and New Game Plus 2, as there are items that appear in only in those instances of the game, which we will be detailing how to get as we go. So this could end up being quite a long walkthrough, um, but that's the point of it. I am intended on it being complete. So now that that's all done, I think I've covered everything that I needed to cover in this video. Obviously, we met the uh, the Dark Moon Lady, um, and I think because we haven't joined the uh, the uh, what is it the, the the finger we haven't joined because we haven't joined the covenant that it that was in the cathedral of the deep i can't remember the name of it now i'm gonna sound so stupid when this video comes up i'm so sorry guys um basically because we didn't join that covenant i don't think uh the npc that you want summon here oh no we have got the npc haha -ha. so uh, when that now brings me on to another point then so the thing that unlocks this NPC, if you'll notice in the last video this npc wasn't actually here and so now that we have um, started with Yuria's quest we will now see Pale Shade summons uh, before boss fights which is lovely these Pale Shades are really really strong uh, and they use dark magic with great effect so that is all sorted next next video we will be taking on the Abyss Watchers and with this summon like we, prob we may not even need that many heals that is how much easier this boss fight is with the pale shade so see you next time guys i hope i got this uh, message across okay uh, any questions ask down in the comments I'll, I'll be free to i'll be sure to answer them for you um as no kind of been a bit disjointed with this episode because i didn't quite know how to explain everything and i got interrupted a couple of times um so enjoy the rest of your day guys i will see you when we take on the abyss watchers